Hey, guess what? European, British, and American airline passengers, they don't complain because they believe they won't be listened to. Yeah, this is according to a survey out today which shows that almost three quarters of uh, passengers from those regions have never filed a complaint. Now, when it comes to the best European airline, British Airways took the top spot. It was actually followed by EasyJet. Let's get more. Dale Roberts from Clara Bridge uh, carried out the survey and joins us. Great to have you with us. Um, what's wrong with, you know, I thought Americans are very vocal, but Americans, uh, Brits and, and Europeans just don't complain. It, it's a puzzle, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, there's so many more opportunities for us to give feedback, for customers to give feedback to airlines, and yet we seem to be doing less of it. I think our finding is this, actually, that, that customers aren't responding because, for the most part, they don't feel listened to. They don't feel airlines are even responding to their, to their feedback, let alone their complaints. E even on, because you mentioned yeah. about the different avenues today. When I, when I first yeah. saw this, I thought, well, you, most airlines, nearly all airlines, yeah. have a social media presence, Facebook, Twitter. And I've seen, you know, on Twitter, I see airline, you know, people complaining and some airlines yeah. getting back to them. But they... Yeah, that, that still hasn't broken through where people think they'll get an answer. I, th I think that's part of the challenge, actually. So yeah. organisations, not just uh, airlines, but all businesses are struggling with the ways in which customers are communicating with them today. This can come from any source, right? And we're communicating uh, with customers on our terms, not mm. using their, you know, a, a decade ago, right? It was one number we called if we had a problem with an airline, right? And today it could be Twitter, it could be Facebook. We could leave a, an online review. Um, and so the, all of these places mean that airlines are struggling, I think, to keep up with what customers are saying. And so customers aren't feeling like they're heard at all. That's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Um, especially when you look at here in Europe, because there are a lot of EU laws, aren't there? Regulations yeah. uh, around the airline industry, um, you know, where passengers, if they're delayed or the airline cancels their flight, they can get compensation. I'm wondering, are, are people using those channels, do we know? I, again, I think for the most part, they are. But something else the study tells us is that whilst um, whilst people want those kind of sort of re reparations what they're really looking for is to be treated well actually staff attitude uh, matters staff most right staff, well staff friendliness and friendliness and we and we and we often say right your customer experience is never going to be better than your employee experience that's yeah. right so you know if you're looking after your people they'll look after your customers and so that makes a huge difference to all feedback not just not just complaints. And when it comes to this staff happiness, mm. friendliness, um, we look at these airlines, again, this is just Europe, that uh, we had BA yep. out on top, British Airways, followed by EasyJet, yes. the, the, the low-cost carrier. Uh, and EasyJet beating Virgin, Air France, KLM, and, and Lufthansa, our German friends. Interesting. I wonder what those airlines, I mean, are those airlines, did they say what those airlines had? I think, I think, I think what we see uh, in common when, uh, when customers um, are loyal to an airline, because we, we, it's a paradox, right? We want mm. the best possible price, absolutely. <laughs> we want a time that suits us, uh, but we want great service. We, we'd all like to turn left and get the champagne. Mm. But I, actually, the reality is, once we're on a flight, the thing that makes a difference is that staff friendliness, the way the attitude of, 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 uh, the, of the crew uh, in the plane and, uh, and on the ground. So if you want loyalty, and, and in fact, if you want your customers to recommend you to their friends and family, it all comes from uh, more than anything. It's really interesting, more than anything, staff friendliness. There you go. You didn't do the survey in Australia, did you? Huh? We, we should have done yeah. it. Yeah, we're good. We're good <laughs> at complaining. Dale Roberts from Clara Bridge, thanks very much for coming on. Interesting survey.